So I have a Dell Inspiron 7786, which is about two years old. And when I ran the test to see whether or not I could get the upgrade to Windows 11, I was very surprised and it said, no, no TPM2 chip. That was disappointing. But I don't give up that easy. So I've done some research. And Dell actually doesn't have a TPM chip in a Dell. It's called something different. In order to set your Dell up, if it's fairly new and it comes up and tells you there's no TPM chip, don't give up. Go into the BIOS. And for me to get into the BIOS, I had to hit the F2 key repeatedly as soon as I rebooted the system. And then it went into the BIOS. Once you get to the BIOS, in the Dell, you're looking for something that's called PTT, Platform Trusted Technology. It's the same as TPM. It is still the trusted technology. Needless to say, this was turned off. I ran into one other problem. In the BIOS settings under Advanced Boot Options, the Enable Legacy Option ROMs was turned on. If that's turned on, as it states here, if Legacy Option ROM can't be enabled if you want PTT to work. So make sure that the Legacy Option ROM is unchecked. If that's checked, it won't work. This needs to be unchecked, as you see in this photo here. Once this is unchecked, then you can go down to PTT Security under Security Settings, and you can now turn on PTT. Turn it on. Once it's on, save your setting and reboot the system. After the system got rebooted, Surprise, surprise, that computer is now fully ready to run Windows 11. It is compatible. And actually, that computer right now is in the process of updating to the preview release of Windows 11. Stay safe, be free. I hope this helps.